Hey guys, Decap13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode, uh, we made our way to the town of Corel, where we learned Barrett's backstory, uh, what happened to his hometown, his wife, uh, and the tragic conclusion. We also went to an amusement park. <laughs> nice uh, little change of tone, where we met fucking Dio, who... Uh, I don't know what happened, but a bunch of people ended up getting shot, and now we're in prison with Tifa and our new party member, Kate Seth. So, let's try to get out of here. A although escape is very, very much impossible, Kate Seth has told us. But, uh, w oh yeah, this weirdo, this fucking guy is following me. Get away from me, you goddamn weirdo. Shinra. You knew? Then go pay your respects to Mr. Coates. Huh? Oh, these things again. I forget, do these things explode too? So I know they can heal me and then die. Huh. Yeah, they're self-destruct. Oh god, Kate Seth. I almost forgot that Kate Seth's slim brig is really fucking cool. Never seen your face around here before. Going up? Uh, I guess not interested. <laughs> you sure got guts. Oh, uh, I guess I am going up then. You know, understand how things work down here. It's the gold sauce's garbage dump. That makes all of you scrubs. The only way to get back up here is to win the chocobo race. But it's not as easy as you rookies think. Of course, if you got the boss's permission, it'd be a different story. But you'll never get that. <laughs> cool. I found this boss guy, eh? Okay, I see a door I can go into now. <gasps> These again. Yeah, look, they heal me and then they just fucking disappear. Jesus Christ, Kate, Kate, Kate Smith is really good. And what's the lowest he can get? 200? That's still not bad. I appreciate the cure, though. I'm not gonna get any experience points for that, do I? No, nope, just the one. I'm almost level 20 now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, Barrett. Didn't I tell you not to come here? J just hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You'll understand if you just hear us out. Barrett, what are you doing? Oh. Didn't want none of you to get involved. 
Oh, hey, Eris in Red 13. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're already involved in this. We saw you and hurried here. Barrett, just tell us what's going on. You guys. I heard, heard that the murders at the battle arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? There's another. Another man that got a gun grafted into one of his arms. It was four years ago. I remember. I was on my way home from visiting a Mako reactor being built. Barrett died and come quick! The village is being attacked! It's Shinra soldiers! What? What the hell happened? Hey, Barrett, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back to the village. Barrett died. Protect the village. No shit. <laughs> Old man! Come on, Barrett. We gotta hurry. Kurt! Barrett, you stay here. <laughs> you can shoot all day and never hit him with an aim like that. Shut up! <laughs> Stop playing around and cover me. Watch out! Oh shit. Dine, hang on! Listen to me, you're coming back to the village, here? Yeah, I ain't letting go. You're coming back. Everyone's waiting for you. Eleanor and Marlene. They're all waiting on us. Oh. Off with his arm. So that's how Barrett lost his arm. From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm to reve get revenge on the Shinra. We took everything away. Back then, I heard the doc say there was another man who got the same operation as me. But his was the left arm. But... Dine's injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by the Shinra, too. He'll probably join us to fight against the Shinra. Wouldn't bet on it. Gotta apologize to Dine before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it. Because if you die on me, I'm gonna have nightmares. Barrett, this isn't the end. Aren't you going to save the planet? Shit! Tifa, you ought to know by now. That's alright. I'm not so different from you. That's easier to understand. It's you, Barrett. So there it is, Barrett. Guess it'll be Barrett, me, and... Yeah, Tifa. That, that's... That... Yeah. Alright, guys. Fortune's good. Everything's perfect. No, I didn't want to... Alright, I guess that adds them to the party. Alright, cool. So let's move on. What the hell? Why is this chest open? What is that thing? Oh, right. Let's 
do my fucking potion. Alright, got the potion back. Oh, well, that one's self-destructing. Oh shit, Barrett. Please don't kill Barrett. Oh, no, that was on Cloud. Well, let's go some limit breaks ready. Oh, right, I forgot I had this new gun for Barrett. That helps so much. Just, why, why the fuck don't I get any of these fucking materia back? I don't know if poison all is gonna do anything, but really the only th stuff I have. Like, fuck, let me just use an ether on Tifa. Alright, let's see. Rookie, and you gotta, gotta buy something. Yep, that's the rule here. Oh, shop. I think I'm good with stuff. Fucking. Where do I go? I guess not in here then. Don't really understand where else I'm supposed to go. Oh, not this. Steal my fucking money, you piece of shit. Get rid of the self destructing guy first. Now let's get our gill back. Oh shit! That, that was a good shot, Barrett. Oh, cloud mind blow gained. That's for Barrett. How am I going? Too bad.
I swear this navigation. I said, if I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. This navigation is fucking garbo. This game's navigation makes no fucking sense. Yeah, there we go. Didn't even get an attack off. I think I'm getting somewhat... I'm at least feeling a bit more confident with battling. Not much else. But battling seems alright now. I'm so lost. This doesn't look like the right place. Just empty chests. That doesn't seem like the right way either. Nor does this. Well, I guess there goes that one. Thanks for the cure. Let's do my fucking elixir. He was shot. Oh, I guess this is it. Man, the boss was really in a bad mood today. It was one of his better days. This is it. Oh, yeah, there's... Dine. Is that you? Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I always hoped I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen to me, Don. I want to... You shoot Barrett? What's that? I hear her voice. Huh? I hear her voice. 
Eleanor's voice, begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I didn't hunt you down. I know I was stupid, not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Why do you want to kill those that ain't even involved? Why? Why? The hell do you care for? Are the people killed going to understand why? Are the people of Corel going to understand just hearing Shinra's excuses? I don't care what the reason is. All they give us are artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? Alright, I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. The people of this city. The city itself. The whole world! I got nothing left in this world. Corel, Eleanor, Marlene. Dine, Marlene. Marlene's still alive. I went back to, into town. I thought she was gone for sure. That's why I wanted to be by her side until the end. That's when I found her. Found Marlene. She's in Midgar. Let's go see her together, alright? So... She's still alive. Alright, Barrett. I guess that means you and I gotta fight. What? Eleanor's alone by herself, all by herself. I've gotta take Marlene to her. Dine, are you insane? D did you not hear the whole uh, destroy the world, cause why not thing, Barrett? Marlene wants to see her mom, does don't she? Stop, Dine, I can't die yet. Oh, yeah. Well, my life's been over since then. Stop it! I don't want to fight you! Barrett! Cloud, you stay the hell out of it! This is my problem! I don't think I... Oh, it's just Barrett. Ooh, I should have put some more stuff on him. This is gonna hurt. Cause I only have bio. I don't think that's gonna do anything to him. Is it? Oh shit, no, I actually poisoned him! Yo! Hey, maybe it was a good thing putting bio on him. Alright, let me use mind blow. This new technique we got. Oh, that just steal that just hit hits your MP. Oh, that's fucking dumb. That's a bad skill. Shit, no, high potion. That was actually pretty close. I almost fucked up the command on that one. Right, well, now I know. Don't use Mind Blow. Mind Blow is not good on this guy. Just use Boom Burst. Or, not Boom Burst. That's Pokemon move, John. What? Something on my phone. Jesus. It's a good thing I have these high potions. Another mall? Are you fucking serious? turns in a row do you get, dude?
back. It wasn't just my arm. Back then, I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where I went wrong. Dine. I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you. I... I want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world. Even me. And what about Marlene? What's gonna happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go to her now, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett, these hands are a little too stained to carry Marlene anymore. So yeah, Mar Marlene is actually Dine's daughter. Barrett. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's. My wife's memento. All right. Wow. Marlene's already four. He's gonna jump now. Barrett, don't make... Don't ever make Marlene cry. Dine? Dine! Dine! Dine. Me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't be able to carry Marlene either. Jeez. You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta get the boss's permission, then win the chocobo. Dine's got his reasons and can't speak. So I got this instead. Yeah, bull! I want to go up. Right. Did you kill Dine? You must have. Or you'd never be holding that thing. So Dine's dead. Maybe now, the place will calm down a little. Dine didn't care who anyone was. The hell do you know? R right. I mean, no, I don't know anything. S s sorry. Then, will you get us out of here? Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you, there's one, only one way for you to get out of here. That's to win the chocobo race that's held up there in the gold saucer. And only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No, really, even if you threaten me. A rule's a rule, I, I can't change it. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up, and I can't do that. Okay. Okay, I'll let one go up there. After that, he's got to deal with Dio. Alright then. Cloud, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race and get us out of here. Right, Cloud. We'll be waiting and rooting for you. Have you decided? All you need now is a manager. And register and, and get a chocobo. I happen to hear your story. Esther? I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. She may look kind of funny, but there's no better manager in the races. 
That's so rude. Yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. Alright then, Cloud. I'll send you up in the elevator. Esther will fill you in on the details. Hmm, so that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the other thing. There are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for the fame, some people compete for the money, some only for glory. And then there's people like you. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Alright. Um, first you select a button to choose either auto or manual. In other words, either you control the chocobo or let it run on its own. But it's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't listen. You can't really help on this one. But most of the chocobos that I'll, that I'll provide you with are mellow and you should be able to handle them. When you're riding, use the square button to speed up and the, and the X button to slow down. But if you go faster than the chocobo can handle, it'll lose its stamina really fast. And use the directional button to move the chocobo left and right. Use the circle button to get a boost of speed. Of course, your stamina runs out faster, though. There are some bad-tempered chocobos that can't pace themselves, and they'll lose their stamina pretty fast. For those kinds of chocobos, you should set the controls on manual and slow it down. Finally, some advice for the restless. Once in... Once the first and second chocobo cross the goal line, push the start button to end the race. You knew. Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. You're looking pretty as usual. Thanks. Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe. One of the top chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're with Esther, then... Right. He's an up-and-coming jockey. He's only been down here for a day, and he already made it up here. What? Oh, I see. So what'd you do down there? Sorry, you're not supposed to ask about the past here. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. I see a materia over there. It's really getting me. Then until we meet again, Cloud. I'm going to go check on the chocobo. You just wait here for a while. Rama materia. Yeah, that's another summon. Don't get cocky. Skills don't matter once you get in the race. The race will start in a few moments. Will the jockeys for the next race please proceed to the paddock? I repeat, don't get too cocky. Skills on my watch in the race. Yeah, I got it. Alright, let's see how bad John is at the fucking chocobo races. Cloud. Oh, hey, Esther. Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He won't lose easily. Oh yeah, you know how to ride one? Uh, real quick. Select for auto or manual. Square speed up, X slow down. Circle, and then circles for a speed boost. Directional for left and right. Okay.
Oh, my stamina is still glowing, going down. Hey, I won though! <laughs> wow, I, I barely had any stamina left. But hey, yo, first place, my boy! Ha! <laughs> yo, look who's fucking good at video games! Congratulations, now you're home free! Oh yeah, the owner told me to give this letter to you when you won. Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. And won a victory that I'm sure you earned. I heard about Dine from Esther. Now that you are victorious, I promise that you and all your friends will get a full pardon, and you will all be set free. And also, by way of apology, I prepared a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? Cloud, isn't this great? The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy for you. Now you can go over deserts and rivers no problem. Okay, Cloud, I'll be waiting outside. Hmm? Letter continues. P.S. I just recently met Sephiroth. He must have a lot of fans with boys your age. Why don't you get his autograph? It seems he's headed toward the south of the river, towards Gongaga. Sephiroth. I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own cho race chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. I'll see you soon. Alright, we're done. We're out. Uh, kind of want to use Kate Sith again. All right, let's see. Okay, get on. Cancel to get off. Buggies can cross shallow rivers and deserts. You can even enter Costa de Sol and Junon by buggy. Okay, so we can go back to Junon if we so please. And I actually think I want to do that real quick. Because there's actually something I like, and I know, spoiler free guide, <laughs> well, th there is something I want to go back to do, because I did miss a dialogue thing, which I, I now know is important for later on in the game. But I'm sure we'll get to why it's important later on. My god, can you stop using Flying Sickle? Yeah, there we go. That's my fucking girl, Tifa. God, Tifa's Lemon Break is so fucking good. Alright, level 20 for Tifa. The TS Bomb. I just gotta figure out how to get back to where we need to go. Um, what do we have? For about 30 something minutes. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I know it's kind of a short one, but I, I don't wanna bore you guys with me getting lost constantly on and off screen again. So, uh, yeah, I'll end things here, and when we get back, I'll be in June. I'll be on the other side in Junon, so I can do the thing I wanted to do. So I guess I will see you guys in the next one.